This is the first time Irene's been to Cebu. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, getting to experience lots of first. That's awesome. Baggage claim to get our get our luggage and then what's the name of the uh, Blue Water Resort? What is it? Blue Water Resort. Blue Water Resort. Mm -hmm. It's the same place that uh, my buddy Jeff and his new bride stayed at when he first came out here. He said it was a pretty cool place to go. Uh, what do you mean? Huh? Jeff uh, first came out here, man, his, his new bride. They stayed at that resort, yeah, same resort. <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, I think we ought to stay there a couple, at least a couple nights at that place, maybe three nights, two or three nights. Make it worth our while, man. Yeah. Huh? If we just stayed one night, we wouldn't have time to do anything except sleep and then check out the next day. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll uh, see if we can get several nights there to extend our stay. Okay, baby. Hmm. But, uh,. Yeah, like I said earlier in the earlier video, you know, I didn't realize that you had to book every single little thing you do. You know, I'm used to just, I'm, I'm used to how things are back in the United States. You just, you know, you want to go someplace, you just jump in a car and go, right? Uh, or you want to book a flight, you can book the, the flight the same day. You know, you, you arrive somewhere and the hotel is fully booked. Well, you just find another place that's not booked until you find one. It's, I mean, it's so it's so simple. But here, uh, yeah, you have to book everything in advance, several days in advance, and I just don't like having to do that. I just like doing things on spon spontaneously, you know. <laughs> but. Um, I don't know, I guess the next time I come out here, you know, I'll have to plan things a little bit different. I just hate, I really do, I, I hate doing stuff by by means of an itinerary. I don't like that. But it is what it is, and uh, I guess I'll learn to adapt to the Philippines in that regard. So gonna kind of walk around here guys and get get kind of view what the baggage claim area looks like <laughs> it's a nice looking airport you gotta say that nice and open nice and cool here for those of you that uh use globe you can get your i guess your loads over there or maybe they sell sim cards over there i don't i'm not for sure or there's another one called smart 5g um yeah for me i uh i'm just using my at&t international plan which is ridiculously expensive um, they were saying ten dollars a day for um, unlimited text calls and all that stuff seems like I'm seems like I've been going through my dad a little bit quicker than that or maybe not I don't know seems like every time I turn around they say well you've used up 75% uh, of your one gigabyte data plan 
And then when you go over, we're gonna add uh, another gigabyte for $15. And that's happened numerous times that I've been here. So yeah, my AT&T phone bill is gonna be outrageous. I don't care, whatever. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, it's just when I get moved out here permanently, you know, I got another iPhone. I actually brought an iPhone with me from from the last time I was out here and I was with Irene. And, um, I was going to get a SIM card and put it in that one. But, you know, stupid me, I didn't uh, go through the process of unlocking the phone. So now I'm gonna have to wait until I get back to the States and then go through the whole procedure by unlocking it. It's all right, I don't care. As long as it gets done, it'd be nice to to not have to pay so much for internet. <laughs> or, uh, what do they call it? She calls it buying a load. Every few days she has to go and buy what she calls I gotta go buy a load from my phone, which I don't know how much that is. I don't think it's very much for her, but it lasts for, for a few days. And she just got another load, I think, today, I think, or yesterday. So she'll be good to go for a, a, a little while. Yeah, I'm not sure what all we're gonna do while we're here. Kinda like to check out Cebu and see what 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 Cebu has to offer, you know. They got a lot of stuff that's advertised. Uh, some kind of uh looks like a drive through safari kind of thing. That would be kinda cool. So what all you wanna do, baby, while we're here? What all kind of stuff you wanna do? You wanna do like that safari or something or that, that safari you, that's advertised over there? I don't know, baby. <laughs> I don't know either, baby. Mm. Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what they got when we get to the, the beach resort. You know, because they always advertise, you know, different tours and... Huh? What's that? What's that? What's Sinulog? Sinulog? Ah, that's Ah, okay. There's like a picture of like an old church. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out, guys, when we get checked in and at the what's it called blue water <laughs> blue water resort and hotel man my brain I can't retain nothing baby. <laughs> uh, all right guys well I'm gonna cut this video cut this video short and uh, I guess the next video will be uh, when we get to the resort. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for tuning in, watching my crazy videos. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any suggestions on what we could do or see out here in Cebu. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video, guys. And thank you for joining me on my journey on the road to the Philippines. Peace out. <laughs>